And a federal judge in Georgia has allowed a lawsuit to move forward that could keep Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene from running for re-election. Why, you ask? Well, here's why. The suit points to a Civil War era condition tucked into the 14th Amendment, which prohibits anyone from, quote, engaging in insurrection or rebellion from running for federal or state office. Now, the lawsuit argues Green's rhetoric and alleged role in the January 6th Capitol riot should render her ineligible. Green has denied any wrongdoing and has already filed a countersuit. Joining me now is NBC News senior national political reporter Sahil Kapoor. So, Sahil, tell us about this lawsuit. Katie, there's a bit of legal hot water here for Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. This judge ruling that she has not proven a strong likelihood on the merits of the case, and therefore this lawsuit challenging her, uh, challenging her eligibility to be a member of Congress can proceed. Now, the judge saying that there are a, a, a whirlpool of colliding constitutional interests here, specifically pitting the interests of Green and the voters of her district from engaging in a democratic election, as well as the 14th Amendment, which says you cannot be a member of Congress if you have engaged in insurrection. Uh, Green, for her part, says that this is an attempt by her political opponents to try to uh, defeat her in court when they can't defeat her at the ballot box. Let's have a listen to what she said. These leftists, these progressives who would rather want, they'd rather have the judge or bureaucrats making decisions instead of voters, they want to hand that over to them and not let the people in my district to ha even have the right to vote for me. But no, the Republican Party needs to fight harder. Now, Green will have to appear in court this Friday where the plaintiffs intend to question her under oath about her involvement uh, in the events of January 6th. What this all boils down to, Katie, is that Green is not out of the woods yet. She still has to prove her case in court that she's eligible to be on the ballot, but her critics should not get too excited yet. They still have to make their case on the merits and prove she should be disqualified. Sahil, when she has to answer questions under oath about her involvement, I mean, that could get pretty interesting. She's not appeared before the January 6th committee. It's not like she can just say no to testifying under oath for this lawsuit, though, right? That's right, Katie. There's no doubt that the members and staff on the January 6th committee will be paying close attention. Uh, she is someone who has spread falsehoods and conspiracy theories about the 2020 election. And one thing she did say was that she wants the Republican Party to fight harder for her. NBC News has reached out to House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who has not commented on this lawsuit or the judge's decision to move it forward. But McCarthy has previously defended Marjorie Taylor Greene when she has landed in political troubles. And he has promised that she will get committed assignments back if House uh, uh, Republicans flip the House majority, suggesting even that she might get better committee assignments than the ones she had before Democrats uh, kicked her off uh, committees last year. We'll see how this all unfolds, Katie.